Who's got the ugliest TikTok house? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We are about to find out which collab houses could use our style advice the most, but first, we wanna give a big congratulations to the winners of this year's Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway. Yes! Starting with Louis Rodriguez in El Monte, California, who won the Mythical Mystery Box. Yeah, I like how you're looking away, Louis, into your bright future with all of that stuff. Damian Salen in Florence, Arizona, who wins the virtual weird soda taste test with us. All right, we're gonna be connecting with you soon, Damian. And Casey LaSalle of Idaho Falls, Idaho, won $20,000, the golden tea of mythicality. Congrats to everybody. And look, we were there hanging out. Yeah, we were, nope. it's a good trip. Those are just placards. No, don't, don't give it away. Congratulations. Let's do it again next year, shall yeah, we? Sure. A lot of fun. All right. Contrary to popular belief, we do not live in one of those big multi million dollar mansions full of young TikTokers and YouTubers, often referred to as content houses. houses. Even though they do often ask us to move in with All them, the time. which is understandable, it's just not a good fit for us. Yeah, we live with our wives and kids, but we do sometimes wonder what it would be like to live in a content house. Like, yeah. who would we share rooms with? I mean, maybe each other. <laughs> well, what kind of Bunks. snacks would we have? But most importantly, what would the house look like? I want a fireproof bowl in LA and a room full of recliners. Okay. I just want a house right. made out of recliners. Done. Now, influencer homes sound luxurious when you hear what they sell for, but let's take a closer look and see if they're really MTV cribs worthy, huh? It's time for, they say that money can't buy class. Let's see which influencer houses look like straight ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> We're looking at four of the biggest content houses, or at least four with the best photos and videos available. And mm -hmm. judging the overall style and aesthetic of each house on a scale of one to 10 vibes. Vibe. These are influencers, I mean, come on. I mean, shouldn't they be able to influence the style of their own home? <laughs> <laughs> you will find out. Oh, he, yeah. The losing collab house will be forever named the Ugly Dumpling. And before you ask, no, we will not be judging JoJo Siwa's house because she clearly has the best style of anybody out there, so that wouldn't be fair to the other creators, okay? Yeah. All right, so let's get started. Bring in our toy. We have the Telestrator. Yes. <laughs> We've never Telestrated. Are you, are, we're gonna be the, the czars of the Telestrator. Yeah, but I mean, it's, 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 you're yours first, so. All right, Rhett, I would like to introduce you and you to the Sway House. The Sway Boys, first of all, look at these guys. They've just got interior design written all over. Oh yeah, them. definitely, right. In 2020, they sold their loyalty to the alternative app Triller and moved into a house together, all right? So here's the house. Now they no longer live here, but the house tour that they posted on the Triller YouTube channel lives on in influencer house infamy, so oh, yeah. I wanted to pick this one apart. Uh, it sold for $8.8 .8 million in February of this year. It's in Bel Air. That's a nice house. I mean, yeah, just to go ahead and work some Telestrator here. I never thought that I wanted a house with three roofs, but here I am. I also never thought I wanted to live inside a C's candy factory. But <laughs> this is super tasteful at this point. I mean, I some... like the black and white stripes. I like shrubbery. I mean, pretty amazing so far, right? Yeah, I, I'm legitimately impressed. But this is these are Zillow photos. This isn't what right. the Sway Boys did to it. Is that what they, they call themselves? They lived here for free and still disbanded. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, well, you know what, it's hard to get along. All right, this is a photo of a bedroom pre them moving in, but they were ready for them because they got the influencer ring light so you can roll over in bed and start vlogging. Oh. And I think this is where the cameraman sleeps. <laughs> the workplace conditions are suspect. But this is the same room where the still taken from their house tour. Oh, okay. Made a big choice on the wall. I don't know Things if you noticed, changed. but like there's a whole forest scene on the wall. Did you notice that? It looks like a children's dentist office. A bit of a jungle. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the room with the children's chair in it. Yeah, yeah, which I'm, I'm kind of a big fan of. And I wonder, were they making direct eye contact with the lion while having sock time? You know what I'm saying? What is happening with you in sock time? You're you're such an aggressive telestrator. Can I just say that? Like ESPN would have a lot to say to you right now. This is the telltale sign of an influencer house. Just rows of tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna applaud them for making an aesthetic decision at all because a lot of the time, none are being made. Look at this toilet. Okay. And a couple of things to note. No toilet paper. Yeah. 
did not remove the sticker from the lid. Well, it's against federal law. But they, hey, they did put a line in the trash can, so yeah. points for that. I think there's a bidet there's on this There's a bidet, thing. yeah, but you, you still need a little wipey wipey. At least one square of a wipe. You could use the sticker, though. Yeah, you gotta peel that thing in order to do it. I mean, credit to them, they have enough business to stay in here, and I know they don't pay for it. It's like the management companies or like the investors let them use the homes, but that's the best decoration that they could come up with. Well, I mean. Virginity but, rocks. Yeah, that's a, that's an upgrade. At least steam your virginity rocks flag <laughs> before you throw it up. Focused as what? I uh, don't know. Fudge. Friends. Focused as friends. That's right. We some, can figure out parts. how many silver bracelets we need to wear. So just putting up dumb posters. That's all I got, man. It concludes our tour of your <laughs> okay, trailer wow. slash sleigh house. Well. Uh, I, uh, they didn't, I, it's an amazing house. I'm impressed with the house itself, but I'm judging what they've done with it. Yeah. And uh, I'm not impressed with that. I'm gonna give it, uh, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. I'm giving it a two. Ooh. Because everything they did was just horrible. Okay, all right. So that's a total of five out of 20. Now I'm gonna be giving you a tour of the Hype House. Mm -hmm. In 2020, they gave a house tour to Entertainment Tonight, which is where we pulled most of these photos from. And by the way, the Hype House has since moved on to another location to shoot their Netflix show, everybody. Uh, but we don't wanna see a house set up by professional set dressers and decorators. Uh -huh. We wanna see how they really live. So let's start by looking at the exterior. Whoa, aerial photo, so bring it. You can see uh, the roof is in good shape. Okay. I mean, I, <laughs> is this a home inspection? <laughs> points for that. And, we, and we've got a lot of palm trees surrounding the house, which is a great sign that you're in an opulent place. Okay. But let's get a little bit closer. And once you do get down to street level, you see there's less of an opulent vibe and more of an abandoned cheesecake factory vibe. Um, What's that plastic on the ground? I don't know, I think it might be for all the cheesecakes. You gotta cover them with something. I mean, this is the Entertainment Tonight tour and they did not think to clean up the plastic. But let's not judge them too much by this exterior. All right. Okay. So this is one of the Hype House living room photos, but this is pre-Hype House. Let's see what this room looked like when it got hyped. <laughs> totally what I expected. Listen, this is the same exact room. They've taken everything off of the shelves. They have installed this very large yeah, screen I see, I here. See it. You see that? Did, I, it, yeah. did it help when I outlined it with my Telestrator? It kind of looks like somebody had a birthday party sleepover to celebrate turning 10 and no one ever bothered to clean up. Exactly. But I will say, yeah. it looks like we might have a small grill with a can of beans on it here in the middle, and that gets a redemption check for me. So I was gonna hate on this room, but when I saw that they were just grilling beans while watching movies, I'm like, I wanna be a part of this. It's squatting. I mean, it's just pure squatting. Oh, you? we can stay in this place? Well, okay, I got the clothes on my back and the camera in my hand and a, a big screen I just wanna drape somewhere. Well, drape it right there. Uh, how about we move on to the kitchen? Okay, again, nice. this is a pre-hype kitchen, but of course they couldn't leave the kitchen in that condition. No, uh-uh, they gotta squat all over it. So Link, I wanna draw your attention to uh, this red Solo cup here. Oh, just that and one? this one. Okay. And uh, this one. There's another one. And this one. There's another one, yeah. And this one. Yep. And this one? Oh, it's a crushed one. And uh, this one? Yes. And this one? I think these are placed and in a decor one. kind of manner. And there's one here. Yes. And there's one here. Yes. And there's one here. Yes. And there. And I also see a whole sack of them. Oh, yeah, they're in the back? That's the sack of them. A whole sack <laughs> of them. That's the industry term for it. If you want to do some more decorating. I do want to say, though, at least they brought some color to this kitchen. A little pop of color. They could have yeah. made worse choices. Not very environmentally friendly, oh, but okay. Let's move along to Classic. a bedroom. Again, this basically super vanilla, makes me think of any movie starring Diane Keaton. Uh, <laughs> that one's for the moms. The moms are watching and today. And so is, yeah, so is the room. Uh, but let's take a look at the only bedroom featured in the home tour on national television. Okay, the lighting is, is not great in here, except for right here. A lot of light Lighting right is there. great right there. I will point out that the bed is made. That's impressive. We're gonna give a check mark to okay, that. Yeah. that I um, finally got a reason to give a point. We've got a cat tower back here in the back <laughs> that is currently inhabited by towered? a cat. And we've got a camera, because you know when you have sock time. 24-7 content. Is sock time sex? 
I'll tell you later. Um, but I want to draw your attention to this area over here because we're going to get a close up on that. Oh, popcorn time! This is the popcorn station. Now, listen, this is a complete popcorn station. There is no reason to need to leave the room. We've got the oil, we've got the salt, we've got the containers, we got everything we need for a complete popcorn time. And again, like Why? you said, this is completely permeating the room, so you might not smell the shoe rack over here. But the bigger problem with the shoe rack is it kind of ruins the feng shui of like trying to get out of this door during a fire. Isn't there Which a is closet? very possible when you've got oil just overflowing in here in the popcorn machine. I mean, okay. So, yeah, I mean, there they treat it. their rooms like dorms. That's the hype house. Uh, so, how you feeling about that? Well, I, he made the bed and I gave him a point for that. One point. This isn't doing as much for me as the first one that you talked about, which I've already forgotten. The Triller, Triller, whatever the yeah, name's yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phase? I don't remember uh, either. Two, I'm giving this two. No, a phase two, is coming up. A two out of 10. All right, so now we're, we're being generous. We gave him three. And now come with me to the Phase house. It's okay. Occupied by members of the Phase clan interior decorating crews. <laughs> they moved into this house and posted a tour in March of 2020. And there have been other phase houses, but according to the website, this is the biggest one ever. Ooh. This is the house. Okay. And yeah. then this is a freaking whole other house that's still part of their compound. I'm impressed. Again, once we're, we're not looking close, I'm impressed. Estimated $30 million. $30 million? For, for this place. Good Lord. Yeah, just to show you, they've got a grass basketball court. It's kind of like Wimbledon. Yeah, yeah, that's how they do it on the other side of the pond. You know, the, the video didn't feature many bedrooms, but we found this photo on Zillow. Totally white, totally vanilla. I've never seen a room with so many ceilings. Isn't that impressive? There's a ceiling, you get a ceiling. You get a ceiling. Yeah, okay. And then you could lose a limb on that. Yeah, it's a fan. <laughs> I mean, this looks clean, but just put a UV light in here and tell me how clean it really is. <laughs> yeah, please don't. All right, here is really the only bedroom that they actually featured on their tour. That's a tree house. N yeah, not much to see. You wanna look inside? There's Alex. <laughs> hey, there he is. Apparently he comes with the room. I'm guessing he's the worst gamer because he doesn't get a toilet. <laughs> he could probably put a crap in that tube he's got right there. I'm sure if you Shoot look in there, there, there's probably a popcorn popper and a rack of tennis shoes. I would hope so. They've got an underground trampoline, which is nice. The slide doesn't quite make it to the trampoline, which is a problem for me, but I guess if you come down with enough speed. I'm, can, I'm into You this. can make it onto the dusty, and I guess it's raining, but I love the fact that the one guy who's not getting covered by an umbrella is the cameraman. <laughs> this is your actual job, guys. Cover the cameraman with the umbrella. No, the talent's gotta be covered, man. Oh, in a giant chess set, anyone? Ooh, that, that's classy. Yeah. They do strike me as the type of guys who like a long cerebral game of chess. Yeah, I could know? imagine. Like, could you imagine the battle of wits that's yeah, going on back there? It's like their brains are exploding just trying to make a little chess happen. I think giant chess is kind of the stupidest use of a piece of yard. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Like, if you if you're not gonna play little chess. Is this making you wanna play chess more? I Well, I think big chess is for when little chess inside gets heated and you're like, let's take this outside. <laughs> okay, all right. To you, the big they board. They get points for that. And they got a nice pool hey, area. That is really nice. But forget the pool when you've got a private lake with a little riverboat Wait, hold it. on, this is in Los Angeles? This is freaking Toluca Lake, man. You got like Th that is, Billy hey, Ray hey, and Miley Cyrus. Lakefront property in Los over. Angeles. This is like impossible to come by. I'm I'm into this. Yeah, you could go on your own private jungle cruise, which tells me that, you know what? They did something much more FaZe Clan than that. <laughs> this. You got a riverboat and you're using an air mattress. Hey, but it's a which, Coleman. <laughs> I, I guarantee you all over that box it says, this is not a flotation device. Can you imagine the things that have happened on that mattress? Well, People a girl got rained it. on in a bikini. Yeah, I, that, I'll say that that's much. That's one thing that has happened. And that concludes my FaZe Clan home tour. There's a lot to like about this. Uh, yeah. I'm actually into the big chest. I love yeah. the tree house. Yeah. I can't find Outdoor much. bedroom. I can't find much to not like about this. It's this huge. is a seven. They didn't add too much, but they didn't break much either. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at a nice five. Okay, don't be too generous. Mm -hmm. And finally, in 2019, a group of content creators 
In the Call of Duty scene, came together to form The Mob, and they began a partnership with 100 Thieves, eventually creating a mob influencer house. Okay. And this is the second content house from the 100 Thieves YouTube channel, okay? So, and unfortunately, there are no exterior photos of the house as they were concerned about protecting their location. Oh, they actually thought about that. Yeah, understandable. So we're starting this with the shot that says, please enter my unfurnished home. <laughs> <laughs> Again, they're squatters. Yeah, so you can see, I mean, this is a spot right here where there could be furniture, Yeah. right? I don't know, maybe a couch, maybe a coffee table. No, how about three camping chairs? You might be thinking they're thinking about other things other than decor, but they're deceptive because I want you to take a look back here at these photos on the wall, and we're gonna go to the next shot to get a close up of those. As you can see, they did an awkward family photo photo shoot, which I gotta say, I can kind of respect it. It shows they got a sense of humor. They're not really taking themselves seriously. And also, they're respecting that beautiful wood because there's no fastening going on. They just prop them up. This is propping. I mean, you move into a place this nice, and this is the only thing that occurs to you to do. It's well, like, I don't think it ever, ever occurred to them that houses are decorated. I don't even think they know. Hold your horses when you say you move into a place this nice. Uh, as we progress through this, you will see this oh. is not like the house that we just saw. This is no $30 million home. It's okay? a $3 million home, but it's in, in LA. Uh, well, shoot, it's a three million It's a very nice home. house, but it's not a $30 million home. Okay, yeah. next room. Now at this point, we're seeing the genius of the camping chairs. Oh, you move them from room Different to room. rooms, same chairs. <laughs> Why have comfortable chairs in every room when you can have one uncomfortable chair that you can move around to the entire house? I just feel so sorry for these well, people. That, this isn't living, guys. Listen, Link, these are not regular camping chairs. These are with the cup holder. Oh, great. You see that? Nice. To be honest with you, I think this is how most grown men would live if society didn't care. None of these guys have their mom trailing them as their manager. I mean, you'd think at least there'd be one of these situations, right? Well, I think he's drinking straight Pedialyte, so he's listening to his mom about something. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's move on. Drinking like a newborn. To the official Cash App sponsored Mob Lounge. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Now, first of all, I do think that Cash App missed the memo about them being a camping chair family only because they have installed this couch, which is completely useless to these guys. Yeah, what? They, they don't, don't know, know what, what to do, to do with, with that. that at all. As you can see, they've carried through the awkward family photo theme. And just in case this career as a gamer doesn't work out, they can practice their meteorology. <laughs> right here on the green screen. But let me direct your attention to the corner. This is the Wham Bam NBA Jam Corner. This is something that I would expect, but it's really disappointing. Well, besides the couch, these are the only non-camping seating in the entire house. But I don't think that there's much scoring going on in this house. And I'm not talking about that kind of scoring. I'm talking about literally, I think they probably played this seven times. Now, as you saw, that this is an NBA Jam uh, basketball corner. So let's move on to the bedroom, which again, we picked up on a theme. Oh yeah. These guys believe strongly in basketball corners. What? Yes, nice. they have a basketball machine in this bedroom. He can't even exit through his deck doors. Does uh, it say on on his bed temporary, because I think that's their mindset related to everything they've done to this house. Okay, and finally, the bathrooms. Yes. As I was saying, this is like a normal bathroom, right? It's but you'd think you'd clean it up a little bit. Now, I wanna draw special attention to the blow dryer. This is a purple hair dryer. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm moving to a completely different bathroom. Link, what do you see right here? I see another purple hair now, dryer. Now, either these guys are sharing purple hair dryers or they got a deal at Big Lots like you've never experienced before. Yeah. I'm terrified to know what this Vaseline has seen. The amount of lubrication that can happen here in this corner, <laughs> and we've got the towel at the ready. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, so it's one guy. And you got to stay hydrated a, when you're doing that. <laughs> he's got a blow dryer sink and a lube sink. <laughs> I think that these guys are having fun, living large, camping chairs, awkward family photos, basketball corners, practicing Itinerant. meteorology. I think there's actually a lot to like in this. I just it's call it. It's not respectable, but it is understandable. Four, gonna give it a four. I just, they, they just don't express a lot of confidence in their own careers. It's like everything is temporary, is what they're telling themselves. Yeah, but they haven't- Hang something on the wall. They haven't put defaced up blinds. Like an incredible house though. You Maybe know what some window dressing, you know? Uh, so what do you give it? What's your score? One. Okay, for a total of five, which means it's not 
The Ugly Dumpling. In fact, The Ugly Dumpling turns out to be with a score of three, The Hype House. Congratulations, Hype House. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Joel. And I'm Ellie. And we're from Rochelle Park, New Jersey. And we just had our baby girl, Juliana. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Welcome to the world. So angelic. Click the top link to watch us match the extravagant house to the celebrity that lives in it in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Out with the old, in with the new, but before we do, check out the last chance section at mythical.com and get your favorites before they're gone.